The Suzuki Jimny has been loved by many because of its unique style, vintage looks, high ground clearance, and of course its excellent off-roading capabilities. Now that Suzuki has added two more doors to this fan favorite, does it make it even more worth it? That's what we're going to be finding out today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode on this channel. We are here, we love to talk about things that help us win in life. I can't wait to talk about this beauty, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here we go! So the Suzuki Jimny that we'll be featuring today will be the GLMT variant. And uh, take note that the wheels or the mags of this one is customized as well as the underglow LED lights. So without the said accessories or customizations, it retails at 1,558,000 pesos. And these are your color options. You have the blue, white, gray, and the jungle green or army green as they call it. Personally, I would have loved it if there was a black color option. But since there's none, I might be going with gray if ever I'm going to buy this car. How about you guys? Let me know in the comment section below. So aside from the additional two doors, the main differences would be now it has a longer wheelbase, which makes the car's uh, overall size longer and also means that it's easier to get in for rear passengers or the second row seats is easier for access. And then you have more space or a more roomy feel and then you'll be able to carry a lot more stuff with you as well for you and your family outing and you know uh, all your adventure trips and for your engine you have your 1.5 liter displacement 16 valves and four cylinders which is equipped with a five speed manual transmission now in terms of the looks i actually love this version because now it has this shiny chrome uh, gray accents which personally uh, looks like a hammer in my opinion which i'm a very big fan of those so if i'm gonna be owning one of these I will definitely feel like I own one, but a cuter version or a version that is more suited in our Philippine roads. Unfortunately, you'll only be having for this variant halogen headlights and halogen fog lamps as well. I would have loved it if I would get LED at least with the headlights, but yeah, that's what we get. We're just gonna you know, really have to change it if you really prefer LED for the aftermarket parts. Now let's go over to your side profile. Your ground clearance is actually listed at 210 millimeters that's actually very good enough for most uh, cases or most conditions here at the sides you also have your tire fenders here on both sides both front and back which really adds to the ruggedness of the car and you also have matte black finish for your side mirrors which look nice but unfortunately they are not power folding they're just manual but you have power adjust for your side mirrors now you have your 15 inch alloy wheels uh, but like I mentioned a while ago, the ones installed here are just custom ones. And uh, if you want to have an idea how the real ones or the stock ones look like, fortunately for you, I have it right here. That's how it looks like. And your tire size would be 195 by 80 and of course R15. Now let's head over to the back once again. It's a very nice looking car, box type basically. And you have your fuel gauge as well or your fuel tank at that area at the right side. Now you have your shark fin antenna, your third brake light, which is uh, common to other Suzuki as well, the oblong ones. And then you have your well hidden wipers as well, which I really know that you all like. And speaking of well hidden guys, did you know that your reverse cameras are here? And yes, though it's uh, for off-roading and leaning on being rugged, this car can definitely keep up with modern day technology and safety features. Wow. Whoa. So over here at the sides, you have your very durable hard plastic. And then what you can notice is it's really thin. You don't have your window controls over here which is still rugged looking and rugged feeling actually you can have your door handles here and then your black lever for your door and then you have no bottle holders here at the sides but you'll be having them at the center which we'll get to in a bit so yeah basically it's really a great looking car i mean the interior is really solid i was surprised when i saw this 
it's really a mixture of ruggedness and sophistication in my opinion. Honestly, I didn't expect to fall in love with the interior of this car. Fabric. 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 All right, now let's talk about this beautiful dashboard, guys. How about this dashboard? Beautiful instrument cluster, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Let's start with the steering wheel. Of course, very rugged, you know, urethane steering wheel. Very simple, very, uh, very functional. And then on the left-hand side, you have your controls for your music. And then as well as to control your... Uh, infotainment system as well as your other controls for your system and then you have your calls as well here and voice command on the right hand side you have nothing it's, uh, really this is uh, you don't expect tech on this car right now let's talk about this instrument cluster as you can see uh, it's like a mixture of modern and uh, traditional and to start this wonderful car you see it's traditional as well you have your key type ignition for your air conditioning system i like this circular vent where you can control the flow of your air and then you have your uh, parking sensor button here which you can activate and deactivate and you can uh, put a lot of options here and then at the lower side you have this button where you can control your side mirrors right okay the tilt adjustment of your side mirrors right here at the middle let's start with the one at the top halogen uh, dome lights here turn on and turn off very simple and then you have your rear view mirrors and then finally your infotainment system this really just feels you know uh, modern in a very traditional car so i like this so much i like the piano black accent i'm happy that uh, they went with that color it just really blends well with a gray dashboard where you have materials for the dashboard here solid materials and then for uh, this part you have textured materials all right all the way here and then the texture still uh, you have a grab handle here for your passenger when uh, you go through off-road conditions and then you have a little bit of space here to put maybe coins or whatever you need to put and then for the glove compartment right it falls uh, very quickly no magic uh, side glove compartment okay going back to the infotainment system as you can see, you have your buttons right here at the left side. Then you have your other controls at the right hand side. Very nice. For the other side as well, circular vent. And then for this side, you have this uh, rectangular shape vent. I like it. And then you have your hazard. Now let's go to your uh, air conditioning system controls. This is nice. I, I know that a lot of you like the multi-directional air convents so this one is gonna be good especially for a car like this then you have your levels for your blower and then temperature uh, you have the option as well here to switch on and turn off your AC and then I like this part right here guys where you feel like a pilot so this is where you can uh, turn on or I mean open and close your uh, power windows all right and then your Button for your traction control, your heel hold assist, I think that's what they call it. And one more button as well for your convenience. Here at the lower end guys, you have, thankfully you have power adapters or a power socket, which is nice. And then like a uh, empty space here, and then a USB-A socket. Next, you have a compartment here, a very nice spot where you can place maybe phone or wallet or coins which is really nice then of course you have your uh, gear shifter here your gear lever four-wheel drive right and this is where you can activate your 
uh, driving modes and take advantage of what you pay for okay traditional handbrakes which is always good and then here at this part you have your controls for your windows all right they move things around to make uh simpler the doors and to make it thinner and more uh, rugged so you have more space here so you have two bottle holders here and you have no armrest okay uh, comfort is not a priority in this kind of car it's more on for adventure and fun what a huge amount of space guys of course here Then for your second row control for your windows are here guys. It's my driving, normal driving position. Okay, not bad. My knees are kind of touching already, but it's okay. And you have no adjustments for your second row. You cannot adjust. You have no choice. So if I'm driving, uh, someone's gonna have to give way. All right. And lastly, this is the thing that most of you really buy the Jeepney for, the space at the back. And you know what? There are a lot of things actually that you can do here. Uh, I want you to know as well that there's an assisted uh, door right here, which, which uh, prevents actually from banging on the walls or any surface that uh, you might bump into when you open your door. And you also have your space right here, very uh, generous space actually and then you also have your tools here below you have your jack whenever you need your uh, tires changed you also have lights here at the side to access your things and thankfully we have also power socket here for those uh, moments that you need to charge or you need power in any circumstances with your camping now of course you can uh, fold the back seats or the second row seats but unfortunately it doesn't fold flat so i don't know if that's going to be a very big deal for you but at least you know that and this button right here actually lets you recline your second row seats which can really uh, be a very big help for those passengers at the back which like i said you're really gonna be having a lot of fun with your adventure with this car so who is the suzuki jimny five door for I believe this for those who are really into the Jimny franchise or a fan of this car. And now you are that kind of person who's like me who would love to bring people with you all the time. So I believe that the five door version, the addition of the two doors at the back is really a very big convenience, especially as a rear passenger's uh, perspective. I believe it's really helpful. Plus the fact that you could recline it. I would really love to go in an adventure more this time with this version of this Jimny. And as an owner, uh, with regards to this uh, lower variant actually, the manual is really fun in my opinion to drive and it has all the tech uh, capabilities or features that is minimal for me personally. The reverse camera, the parking sensors, the Apple CarPlay infotainment system, Android Auto, they are good enough for me as a driver and even the looks, the overall looks of the exterior and the interior is actually um, has actually passed my taste so i'm a big fan of this car officially today so i would really highly recommend this to anyone so i'd like to thank all of my friends at suzuki auto south cebu thank you so much for allowing me to review this car visit them today if you are interested in any suzuki vehicles this has been ronnie with project gentleman reminding you that when we seek god first and make him the king of our lives that is when we truly win in life Thanks for watching and see you in this next video right here. Ciao!